Hey, what's going on YouTube? Kovacs Corner. Appreciate you taking time. Come through, click on the video and all that. So huge shout out to Cooley. It's his video, his work, all of that. I'm just super interested in uh, what it is that he has to offer for his video, right? It's pretty cool to me. Um, he is obviously a Diablo 2 history, PvP, gameplay YouTuber. Awesome. And everybody knows I love Diablo 2. I've been a fan of the franchise ever since like Diablo 1. But this is what I want to get into is the $5 versus $17,000 Diablo item. He's going to be touching on PvP clans and stuff like that. Uh, check his channel out. He plays he plays Diablo 2, man. <laughs> he plays like all variants of Diablo, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, we're going to get right into it. And I've I've seen this already a couple times. I'm super intrigued about it right like it's put me on a whole different kind of journey of what it is that i'm looking for in diablo overall because a lot of people are looking for sojs high runes so on and so forth right i'm going to be looking for these armor sets that these mamma jam has been using in pvp so like sit back relax let's take a look it's my reaction to five dollar versus seventeen thousand dollar diablo items from the homie cooley check them out subscribe all that good stuff all right let's hop into it this axe is worth five dollars and this one is worth 17 grand but so that one five dollar axe, axe is worth right? five dollars and this one is so one of these i've been gambling at geed and stuff for these axes i'm trying to roll a nice axe i feel like a good majority of the stuff that they're talking about you have to like purchase through gambling or be fortunate and lucky enough to find it in runs worth 17 grand but could a pen pinching player compete with such like this look at that eagle barb if an axe a couple of lows in it very fast attack speed 40 percent increased attack speed 281 percent enhanced damage six to maximum damage and then uh based on character levels right here maximum damage and attack rating attack rating sick he actually touches on the attack rating in this video too much ep prowess well that is what we're trying repairs one durability every 33 I was seconds invited to in chance you'd be interested in streaming some melee stuff got some ideas i could pass by uh, including getting getting kitted out and loading some 10ks using gear to try yeah bro i'm down link Nice, you got 99 Pally or close to maybe hop on VC with a friend and go over some ideas. Yeah, I have a level 99 Din. Uh, we'll have to chat. To what felt like an underground fight nice. club in Diablo 2 and borrowed a character worth over half a million forum gold. Half, half a million forum gold. Five thousand dollars. This community that bro. I found myself in was like the billionaires club of D2. You think your Griffin's eye is worth a lot? Just wait till I show you the gear that. You like gear like this look at this carry and shell bro two to paladin skills 917 damage 99 percent bonus to attack rating huge crazy crazy 62 attack rating added on top the bonus almost 30 strength and dex if that was 30 30 it'd be perfect uh physical damage received reduced by eight percent so it's it's 100 percent for pvps and that's something that i want to get into with diablo going forward is like i'm looking for pvp gear these guys have it was pvp like i'd never seen before while i didn't win i was able to score some jaw-dropping ko's nuts hey. Hey. Jesus. <laughs> oh, crazy oh my god dude what the fuck holy shit this was fun and all but i had to give these hold items. on bruh <laughs> this was fun and all. Like, look at this. God, godly Sacred Armor of Restoration, 2,703 defense, bro. So, like, I'm looking for armors like this, these ancient armors. That's what I've been gambling for, right? Look at that. Look at that defense. And then plus 30% increased attack speed, 80% enhanced damage, 200% enhanced defense. Repairs one durability in 20 seconds. F cannot be repaired, socketable, so it's there's no indestructibility these are from the gems these are from the gems 100 percent. 
but the the defense on that, like trying to find that, bro. But I had to get. Ah, uh, bruh. Demon flinch, like, bro. Enhanced damage, back to the attack rating based on character level, one thousand six hundred thirty-three. Nuts. Deadly strike, repairs the durability. Man, did like that's some crazy intense gear. Give these items back. It made me blood finger. I wonder if it was. Uh, Fiend is just spiked helm. Look at that, 658 to the defense, bro. Plus, plus 30% increased attack speed, plus 80% enhanced damage, 99% bonus to attack rating, 180% enhanced defense. Crazy 39 to life. If that was 40, it'd be perfect. It's pretty much perfect. It was possible to make my 200 enhanced defense, 16 strength, 30 to life. Repairs the durability every 33, uh, every 20 seconds. Defense 318. Crazy. For a belt, everything's almost F. Own self. Could I crack the code of D2 melee dueling with a laughably cheap character and score wins against the heaviest hitting names in the world? It was time to theory crack. It was time to click and hold and roll those digital dice. But against such unaffordable odds, could it even be done? What was the secret to their success? And most importantly, how would I fare against these big money brawlers? Budget. Like that's that's insane. Baller on a budget, bro. A brawler on a budget. Let's say. <laughs> the melee community has been at the heart of some of the most expensive transactions in the Do entire more. history of Diablo. Two. Cool grasp. Two percent life stolen per hit. Twenty-two to strength. Fifteen to dex. Fifty-five to life. Nice. But it goes deep. Those are all crafted. Anything that has an orange uh, name to it, orange writing on it, that's crafted in uh, the Hoarder Cube. Sold for $13,000, bro, with a burr in it. Two to Pallies. We already seen this one. There's actually a huge following for this format overseas. Most viewers of this channel aren't aware of this because, well, most. So, it's up in the top right corner there. If you guys want to go and check out some PVPs, check it out. Most viewers of this channel don't speak Korean. But honestly, you don't really need to. <laughs> Melee items have shown up in the Discord trophy room for years and are often hot topics of... Bruh. Storm Song, Colossus Sword. Look at that, 154 to 480, one-hand damage. That's crazy. Put a low in it. 40 increased attack speed. 296% enhanced damage. Maximum damage. Maximum damage for 9 based on character level. 13, um, 1633 to attack rating. 20 deadly strike. That's crazy. Like stuff like this. So this is stuff that I'm looking for. Interest in conversation. Mainly because of their value. <sighs> For example, the typical items that casual players get excited about finding fetch next to nothing in value. But some items that those same casual players don't even pick up off the ground can be worth more than their cards. Yeah. One of the saddest trophy room stories is a player by the name of Tup who found this Colossus blade on single player. On oh battle, my god. 1468 to attack rating. But on single player, there's nobody to trade with, and most importantly, nobody to duel. Even seasoned players might pick up magic armors hoping for four sockets and 100 life, and they'd be rightfully excited about finding one. But what if the magic armor you picked up looked like this? Bruh. Bruh. That defense. Enhanced defense. Repairs the durability every 20 seconds. That's so insane. This armor's worth Got a sock in it. It. it might just be the only one of its kind in existence. Mainly because most players would just char see it. But no matter how you slice it, these E-Rep Sacred Armor bases are just rare. And the actual rare ones can fetch even more of a premium. Melee items are incredibly valuable in this game. This one in particular sold for 17,000 US dollars. But why so much for this rare axe? Isn't the infamous grief rune word just overpowered and far? The thing about grief rune word, it's actually banned in PvP. Better than this thing? Well, first of all, grief is banned in melee dueling. But yeah. secondly, some of these rare items are actually better. 
The owner of this $17,000 axe put it to the test on the Korean channel known as FBI. They had a competition between Casino, a rare axe player, and another die-hard melee player using Grief. It was a shutout victory for the rare axe. So crazy, level 99's going at it. This was shocking. How could it be that rare items like this were better than Grief, an item that's long been banned in the format? It was time to dive deep, to build my own zealot, and to try to take down this axe-wielding fiend. My so before we even really go any further, if you guys ever wanted to check out the kind of thing that he's looking at right now, it's uh, maxroll.gg. <laughs> And uh, pretty much it has all you need to know about Diablo overall. Any kind of builds, any kind of farming runs, stuff like that. That's what he's using in the background for uh, for his research. So, let's first define the budget, as this term can mean many different things to Diablo 2 players. This is PvP. Phoenix, it's not like we're on day one of ladder and suddenly found ourselves in a high-end melee duel. No, no. This will involve a decent amount of endgame gear, but what we're looking for is the cheap stuff. With many top melee builds going for over $10,000, I set my budget at 10,000 forum gold, or about $100. D2 a melee JSP. zealot is not a very straightforward build. Most people would know to max zeal in its synergy along with fanaticism for attack speed and damage. Others may even know to max holy shield for added defense. Yeah. What to do with the absolute metric ass ton of points that remain? For this build, we max Defiance, which gives a passive bonus to Defense. The remaining three points at level 99 go into Blessed Aim, which gives a passive bonus to Attack Rating. In a game so dominated crazy. by spellcasters and other attacks that always connect, hit calculations are something that most Diablo players aren't familiar with. But I discovered the simplest way to explain hit calculations in Diablo 2. Imagine a raffle drawing where only two people... So this is what he gets into it. This is actually pretty sick and it makes a lot of sense. Both have joined. You and your opponent. For every one point of attack rating your character has, you get one raffle ticket. And for every one point of defense your opponent has, they also get one ticket. When the raffle is drawn, only one winner can be picked. If I have 2,000 tickets or 2,000 attack rating, and my opponent also has 2,000 tickets or 2,000 defense, I have a 50% chance of winning or in this case, connecting with my opponent. But if my opponent had only 500 tickets and I still had my same 2,000, then I would have an 80% chance of winning. And hence, Crazy. an 80% chance to hit. This, of math course, is assuming mathing. that you and your opponent are the same level. While character level is looked at in the equation, it doesn't make a huge difference, especially when you factor in the 75% block that most characters have. Luckily for me, the community already had an established budget version of a power and that newer players could use. So I decided to check it out. The axe used on this version is F Death Clear. While it doesn't nice. have the Fool's Mod, which gives a very helpful attack rating bonus, it does reduce targets' defense or steals their raffle tickets. And speaking of cheap tickets, I chose to use these charms. Filling it in. So that's crazy. If that was 20 to life, that'd be crazier. Like 40, 20. And that's crazy. For the attack rating, attack ratings through the roof. I could already see for the charms plus 16 to life per if he has like plus 20 to life that that'd be a little bit better on some of them entire inventory with these is surprisingly affordable could it be this simple could this budget brawler make the grief killer sweat i decided to challenge the player with the seventeen thousand dollar axe let's see what this mother thinks about this all right before they get into it leave down in the comments whether or not you think that he's going to be able to win this it was clear that we would need to be a bit more creative. While we did survive a couple of rounds, our damage just wasn't there. But what could we really do to this build while still ensuring that we meet all of the melee necessities that it should have? For my new attempt on this budget sell it, I broke one of the cardinal build rules of melee dueling. I decided to drop to the second highest attack speed breakpoint, sacrificing speed for massive damage. That's this pretty is smart. is very taboo, and not something that any veteran zealot player would ever suggest doing, because less attack speed 
means less damage per second. But yeah. with the last build, I was hitting for 6k. With this build, I reached 10,000 zeal damage, along with huge amounts of crushing blow and deadly strike. I used nice. the rune word death, which oddly enough death is, is really even good. cheaper than EDC. These hits were gonna hurt. I told the line once again to see just how good it would do against the best axe ever found in the game. He's out here just clapping buddy with that with that expensive axe. That's nuts. On a budget build, that's crazy. At this point, I could have Look at all the ears, man. It's it's such a crazy community. Such a crazy community. The Diablo 2 PvP community. I want to try and get into that community because it seems a lot of fun. Just afk for six hours, and I probably should have. Got clapped a bunch, but he got some wins, man. But I did finish with five wins, which means that we put together a budget version of the Zealot that did better than a decked out player using the bad mannered Berserker Axe, Grief. With all things considered in this challenge, I'll take that as a win. A little did I know, I'd have the opportunity for an even sweeter win. We might FT7 the biggest dude in the game. That's crazy. Foreigner alien, he's pissed. This guy is so pissed. His gear is worth so much. Come on, baby. Come on. Just big hits. One time. There nice. it is, baby. That's Only crazy. Only an alien again. <laughs> AFK, six hours. <laughs> For my money, Whoa. no character in South. Whoops. This. But yeah, no, man. Uh, check them out. Check Coolio. Uh, that's super interesting to me. Just the overall depth of the PvP uh, play that happens in Diablo 2. It's, it's so insane to me. That and plus certain items that you'd never expect, right? So recently what I've been doing in the game is picking up all these items. Not really caring about anything else. Just like picking up all these main items on top of rune hunting. That's, that's crazy. But yeah, no, man, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, hit me up on any one of my other social media platforms down in the description below. Go check out Cooley. Drop him a like in the sub if you enjoy Diablo 2 content. Until next time, man, take it easy. Peace.